Hello guys and welcome to Till Vacuum Do Us Part and welcome to 2022. I cannot believe this is my very first video of this year. I wanted to make a really good video for you guys and I know how much you guys love the need to know cleaning hacks. So I thought we would change it up a little bit here in 2022 and do need to know home hacks. So I can't wait to share all these with you. So if you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button and we're gonna jump straight into today's video. Okay guys, the very first place we're gonna be starting is with this blanket ladder. I recently bought it and I was working on it during a cleaning video and you guys wanted to know how to fold the blankets. So typically they just look super messy, but if you'll just be conscious and put the side that's folded, not the messy side. So I'm kind of showing you, there's like one side that's super messy and one side that's folded nicely. If you'll just stick that on the outside, it's already gonna improve it so much. So I'm gonna show you just kind of how I fold it. It does not have to be perfect. You're gonna notice as I'm doing this, all four corners don't really meet up. These blankets are super soft and they stretch out a little bit, but it doesn't matter because I'm gonna show you how to hang them so it still looks really nice. So already that's made a huge difference. You can tell it's less messy. That nice folded side is on the out. But I wanna show you one step further just in case your husband hangs it up wrong or you didn't put it that way. No matter which way you fold it, if you'll just pull it out a little bit and tuck it in behind itself, it really cleans up the look. And I'm gonna show you the after. And at the very end of this section, I'm gonna show you the before and after so you can see the difference. But just by like kind of stretching it out and tucking it in, I just feel like it looks so uniformed and so neat. Now we're gonna move on to cords, you guys. know if you've been here any length of time, I do not like cords. So I'm gonna show you this in my husband's office. Now this cord happens to be clear, so it's not terrible, but they're not always like that. They're typically like white or black or stand out. And even this cord alone bothers me. So there's two tricks I'm gonna show you for this, like two hacks. So the first one is some of these bases are actually pretty solid and you can just push the cord into it. So I'm doing this with this floor lamp, but it also works with like table lamps. So just kind of start pushing it in and see if it will hold it. If it doesn't, I have a second hack, but if it does, this really will help you, especially on like table lamps. As you can see, that hack really keeps all the excess of it away. You can still see it, but it's better than nothing. This part two of this is actually my favorite one, but if you have like wood floors or tile floors, sometimes it won't work, so you'll have to do the hack A of this, but hack B is just to tuck it in underneath the baseboard. So if you have carpets, this is so easy to do. Sometimes with wood floor and tile you can, it just depends on how much gap there is, but with carpet it's super easy. This is my favorite way if you can do it because you're gonna see it completely disappears.
Okay, while we're talking cords, I just wanted to take you into my office real quickly because I feel like I get asked all the time how my computer's plugged in and why you don't see wires everywhere. I will say there's only one cord to plug in, so that already helps. It's like an all-in-one system, but I just have it running down my desk, and then I've cut a little bitty slit in my rug. You don't even notice it when you pull it out, but then it runs underneath my rug, and I'm gonna show you over here. It's going underneath my wedding dress and then it's plugged into the outlet so it's just getting creative using plants using whatever you can just to hide those cords because they drive me crazy while we're talking cords let's talk about like extension cords and phone chargers cords like that that actually aren't plugged into electrical items those can be a nuisance just as well i feel like you throw them in drawers they get tangled they take up a lot of space so i have two hacks again for this one the first one's hair clips if you're a girl mom you probably have a ton of these laying around your house i know i do chase is constantly finding them on amazon deals and getting them so cheap so all you have to do is wrap them up and clip it so this is perfect for like your nightstand drawer or maybe a drawer in your kitchen um, I just think it's a simple way just to have one clip clip it on and then when you need it you can just unclip it and plug it in but the part two of this hack is just saving your toilet paper roll this is really good if you're gonna be organizing like an entire cord drawer you can go ahead and wrap it up and put it through you can do this really cool like if you want to add tape or color on it you can also label these I feel like this is a good way if you're gonna have a ton of cords it keeps them organized you can label them like if it's for a certain iPhone you can put iPhone 10 or if it's for a camera you can label that so you know exactly what the cord goes to I'm gonna be myself I'm gonna be someone else I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make mistakes I'm gonna skip my breaks I'm gonna make now we're gonna go ahead and keep talking about toilet paper, but we're gonna talk more about it in the bathroom now. I feel like this is really good for guest bathrooms, especially if you know people are coming over and you want it to smell nice. You want it to smell pretty when guests come over. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the roll that's on the hook and the one that's on the back, and I'm gonna grab some essential oils. So you can use any brand you want to. This is just what I have in my house, but just pick your favorite fragrance or scent and go ahead and just kind of put a few drops inside on that cardboard and it's gonna make the bathroom smell so nice and I went ahead and just did it on my extra roll as well so when they grab that it already has the scent in it plus it has scents coming from both of them so I feel like it just helps fill up the room even more I'm going to real quickly show you the toilet paper stamp. I talk about this in all my need to know hacks because you guys always love it and I always have new followers here. So if you've seen this before, you guys can walk through it with me. I know you know the drill, but basically you just fold it. You can fold it into any shape you want and then you turn on the water faucet for about three seconds and then all you do is take the toilet paper, hold it up against that faucet and every faucet leaves a different design. So it's actually fun to try this at different people's house because you're gonna see they all have different marks but this is so easy to do it's perfect for guest bathrooms if you clean houses this is an amazing little trick to use as well I just feel like it's so fancy but it's 110% free So that last hack was actually sent in by a subscriber. She gave me the idea about it. She had heard it from somewhere else and you guys have loved it. This hack as well was sent in. I read it, I think on one of my other hack videos. So I was gonna try it out. So while those essential oils are out, I'm gonna grab a cotton ball and I'm just gonna put some drops on it. And then you go and rub it on your light bulbs. And then anytime you turn your light on, it heats up and it's going to make the room smell nice. I keep using lemon because I 
feel like that's just a very fresh, clean smell. So that's what I'm grabbing. For your kids' rooms, it may even be nice to do lavender. So when they're in there in the evenings, it kind of helps relax them. I will say we have LED bulbs, so they don't get super hot. So I haven't noticed the smell a ton, but if you still have normal light bulbs that kind of warm up, I think you'll get the scent even better. While we're talking smelling and making your house smell fresh, I love this hack as well. So just grab any type of scent boosters for your laundry. This is actually my favorite scent and I love using it. And they're actually small little beads and I feel like they have way more smell than most brands and it's more affordable. And then you can grab these little jewelry bags. I grabbed mine off Amazon. I have them because when I meet you guys, I keep bracelets in my purse and I like to share them with you. So I already had this on hand. You may have to order some, but all you have to do is dump a little bit of those beads into the bag and tighten it up and then you can use these bags throughout your house or with your kids and it makes your home smell like fresh laundry so this is really good for like dance bags or kids bags say they go to sports and it smells really bad you can put it inside shoes drawers anything like that if you do have little ones in the house I do urge you to be careful we're all grown up here my daughter is basically 12 so I don't have to worry about that but definitely and keep that in mind if you have little ones running around. Okay, so the next hack involves tape and paper clips, which I know that probably sounds really funny and you're like, Ashley, what are you up to? But this one's just super basic and simple. Basically, I find it super annoying anytime I'm crafting or working on something and I can never get the tape started or Chase is trying to work on something, Savannah as well, and we're both like scratching at it. This is such a simple hack. Basically, just go ahead and get your tape started and then you just stick a paper clip in there and then you never have it stuck to each other again. And so as soon as the next time you pull that tape off, have that paper clip ready to go, stick it there, and we will all save so much time. I can't be the only one that has issues with tape because it's constantly driving me crazy. Now we're headed into the closet. So I have like some clothing hacks for you guys. Definitely have to get some clothing hacks in there before we end this. So the first hack I'm gonna work on is hanging up your denim jeans. I'm showing you right here. They're just like all on a shelf and they never get folded that nicely. So I pull them all out and grab some hangers. I actually found this hack. I wanna say here on YouTube or Pinterest, but there was a video. So you might see my phone out cause I'm watching it. I had never tried this hack before. I will say for me, I think it was a fail. I didn't absolutely love the look. It's nice if you don't have like length in your closet and you need your jeans to hang up short. Um, and like I said, the Pinterest picture looked way better than what I was doing. I got better as I went, but I felt like it was a little complicated than just hanging it over the hanger itself. And then as I was going, I realized I only had three pairs of jeans that actually had belt loops and you had to have those to hang it this way. Um, I never realized all my jeans don't have belt loops. I don't know, I found that really funny. So for me, this was a fail. It might be helpful for you. I'm about to show you what it looks like hanging. Cause like I said, if you don't have a lot of space and you need your jeans to hang like short, um, this would be a good thing for you. Okay, next up, all you're gonna need is can pop. So anytime you have a can pop, take off your little opener and save those. I find this is really cool if you lay out your outfit the night before or you do this for your kids and you're trying to use double hangers. Basically, you just hook that little can opener to one hanger and then it has another little hole at the bottom and then you can hang your pants from it. So I feel like this is really good if 
like I said, you lay out your outfit the night before or say you're going on a vacation and you like to hang your clothes. I feel like it's super simple. It keeps the hangers from sliding. Easy to do. Definitely wanted to share that with you guys. I feel like that hack is really good too if your kids have like matching sets and you need to keep the top with the bottom and it will save space in your closet because things are like not all hanging on the bar. And this is another one just like that, but you can get a chain from the garage. Hopefully your husband has one or your partner. This is really good if you have a ton of sweaters. Like I'm grabbing all the sweaters that I have in the same color. If you have like really long closets and you can go from top to bottom, this will save you so much space if you don't have it from like the width. Um, I feel like this is really good once again if you're going on a trip or you lay out your outfits weekly. I don't know, I felt like this wouldn't look that pretty, but once it was done, I actually really liked the look of it. Okay guys, that is all the hacks I have to share with you today. I hope you really enjoyed them. You'll definitely have to comment down below and let me know which one is your favorite. And if you're new here, definitely make sure you subscribe and turn that notification bell turned on so you don't miss any of my videos for this year. I post two times a week and I'd love to have you here. If you've already been here a while, thank you guys so, so, so much. I hope you guys have a wonderful week and I will see you in the next one. Bye.